From Olney to Rockville and all points in between, the new A-list of high school athletes was announced tonight at the third annual Wabash Valley All Sports Team Banquet. If they thought they could hide from our cameras tonight, they were wrong. Tonight was our chance to ask them the really tough questions. Do you know what an Alice is? For four years I've played basketball and baseball and been there. Uh, I, I really couldn't tell you the exact definition. I've heard different things. You know, I just accept it. I want to know if Coach Jones has ever taken you fishing. Uh, he hasn't taken me. He tells me every time he goes, he goes, well, I thought about you while I was there. I caught 900 fish today and I thought about you the entire time and then uh, just wondering uh, when's, when's the phone call going to come. All right, so maybe we didn't ask him the really tough questions, but seriously, 20 athletes from seven different high schools in the Wabash Valley were honored here tonight. And speaking of stars, Bart, this has got to be one of Terre Haute Savings Bank's favorite nights. It is one of our favorite nights. It's an opportunity to celebrate athletic achievement and an opportunity to recognize a coach or an administrator uh, for their dedication to athletics with the Legacy of Commitment Award. And then we also have the opportunity to award two $2,500 scholarships. That's right, two lucky student athletes walked away with $2,500 scholarships. Lucky because the winners were selected at random. Well, I'm going to Purdue University in the fall, and I'm actually paying for it, so uh, $2,500 really helps you know, towards that. Stuff like this is what, what helps kids like me uh, further my education in college. It'll definitely come in handy um, when I go off to Purdue next year, so I'm really looking forward to that. New this year was the Travis Smith Award, presented in honor of the late Travis Smith, a 2006 Wabash Valley All-Sports Team member. Fitting that this year's winner was Linton golfer Rachel Pruitt, who will follow in Smith's footsteps at Ball State University. Just to be compared to someone like that, you know, as caring and good values and just an all-around good person is just a, quite an honor, very humbling. And it was already mentioned, but the student-athletes weren't the only individuals honored at this star-studded event. Retiring Terre Haute North golf coach Steve Hyam was this year's Legacy of Commitment Award winner for his years of service to the Patriot Golf Program. So maybe there was no red carpet and maybe the paparazzi was in the form of parents. But tonight, like so many times before, all eyes were on these outstanding individuals. Damon Lewis, WTWO Sports.